How to transform Figma designs to your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I will show you if you have a Figma design like this one right here, you can see in the screen. If you want to convert this or uh, move this to your Shopify store, I will show you exactly how to do so step by step. Now, let's actually go ahead and get started. But before we even do that, let me just tell you something that you really need to do is that once you actually edit your Figma design, it should be using uh, auto layout. Otherwise, it may not work uh, like the way you want it to work. So make sure that you actually do have that in mind. Now, for me, I didn't actually create this layout. I did use it from the community, as you can see from the name. Uh, so I will just be using this one for the sake of this video. So let's actually get started and talk about how to move this to your Shopify store as a section. So the first thing that you will need to do is obviously after you have finished your design, we can actually just go back uh, and go to the top elements here and just go to resources. And here we will just need to type in Figma to Shopify within the uh, plugins. So make sure you just switch to plugins. So Figma to Shopify with Instant, this is the one that we will be using. Uh, for this time, I believe you'll be able to use, uh, you can sign up for free, obviously you can create your account for free, uh, and you can use one design for, for free to your Shopify store. And then afterwards, I guess you will have to actually, you know, check it out more. So you just click on it, make sure you run it, and it should open up a box here. Now, the first time you open this box, what you will need to do is, uh, not copy frame, but you will need to create an account. So just click on create an account as it's going to take you to this uh, page right here. So we will just, you know, create an account, uh, very easy and simple steps. So I will just do so and get back to you once I'm done. Okay. So I have just created my account, uh, just used Google and it didn't really ask any more questions. It's very simple and straightforward. You just enter your uh, information and that's it. So you just close out of this. We don't really need it right now. It's going to open up later on. Now, what we will need to do is actually just copy this. So basically, we would want to have all of this selected. So we just make sure you actually go ahead and select it. Uh, and then we just go ahead and copy frame. It should say copied the amount of layers that you have uh, within this frame. And uh, once it is copied, you're pretty much good to go. And now you can actually go ahead and go to the website where we can edit a few things that we need to actually edit out. Uh, so let's actually go there. So next up to actually go ahead and open it up, we just go ahead to our Shopify store and we will need to install the app instant. So you just go to your app store, normal stuff, and just look up instant and you should find uh, this app right here. So let me just do that real quick to show you which one exactly, this one right here. So just install it and log in uh, to the account that we have just created. Uh, and now if you just open up the app from within the Shopify store, it's going to take you to this page right here. Let's just wait for it. It should take you to this page right here. And you can see Figma to Shopify, copy and paste any Figma frame to instant. So what we need to do is just click on create new site. Give it a name, so I'm just going to, let's just leave it as a store, okay? Uh, we just click on next step, and now we just will select whichever things that you want to sell. Let's just say this, for the sake of this example, and we just go ahead and create a new site. And we need to just go ahead and connect it to our Shopify. It, because we have installed it from within here, it is going to automatically do so. So we can just go ahead and connect with Shopify, give it some time, and it should now be connected. So now we have our uh, uh, instance builder here. So here's going to be where the magic happens and where you can actually convert your Figma designs to an actual uh, section that works with Shopify, basically. Basically, what you need to do is just start from scratch, uh, go back to Figma, make sure that it is actually copied. Let me just copy it again, just in case. Uh, we just go back to our scratch uh, page. We just paste, so control V, uh, and it actually should appear in here. So as you can see, uh, our design is pretty much in here. It is, we, can, we can see this uh, right now. But if you notice on the left side here, 
uh, you can see the report it just shows you that you know the things are actually matching and that are they are pretty much you know actually going well if you did not use auto layout then it's also going to show you this and it's going to tell you that you know it's not actually going to be as um as we're working properly as it should be because you actually should be using auto layout when you actually design this uh, now like I said I just took this from the community I didn't really want to uh, make a whole new one uh, but this should work regardless uh, but it may not be as smooth as you would expect it to be if you did not use auto layout so now in the editor we can actually edit a few things so if we just uh, go ahead and select uh, the entire thing here uh, we can just go ahead and first uh, make sure the size uh, let's say okay so first the size we just you know click on the entire thing the cover uh, we just go to uh, size if we can find it there you go make sure it is fill for both width and height uh, and we just make it one and one and that does not work because apparently uh the autofill thing really makes it a little bit buggy so regardless i'm just going to uh go back to how it was uh what you need to do like exactly what i just did uh if you actually have you know created with autofill and everything is working great you just make sure you select the entire thing make sure the size is uh, fill for both width and height uh and make sure you just put it as one Okay, this way is going to pretty much be exactly the proportions that are uh, needed for your Shopify store. Now, what else you can do is actually just go ahead and add uh, edit uh, specific elements here. So, for example, if you want to uh, adjust the buttons, we can just click on it. We can go to interactions on the top right and we can give it an action here. So we can actually make sure that this link now actually links to a specific page. So what you will need to do is just go back to your Shopify store. You will need to go to your online store, go to a specific page that you want this button to link to, whether it's a product or a specific other page, and make sure you insert the link here. Now you can add also more interactions if you want. So you can add more stuff here. If it's a product, you can do so. If uh, you can just, you know, connect product. I don't really have any products right now to connect, but you know, if you can just do so by go to interactions and doing so from there. Now that's just for the button, but you can do a lot more. Uh, so here, for example, the text, you can change whatever you want. You can make it, uh, give it an action if you want. So, you know, you, you got plenty to work with here and you can also add uh, layers and stuff. So. Pretty much, you know, just general editing of the page. So, uh, pretty much after you are done editing your uh, section here and you are done with it and you make sure the sizing is correct and everything, uh, you will just need to click on publish. Now, here, if you did not connect your Shopify store already, it's actually going to ask you to connect it right now uh, if you have not done that. But if you did, then it should just publish just like you can see uh, earlier it just showed up uh, and now from here we can actually go ahead and go to our shopify store and we should find it there so let's actually go ahead and go there now i need to note uh, like you saw with the sizing stuff it may not work properly again because i did not use the auto layout i just got this from the uh the community but for you it should work properly so don't worry too much about it Obviously, if you have used auto layouts, I keep saying that because it's very important. So if we just go to our Shopify store, let's just wait for it. You know what, what actually I'm going to do is I will, instead of, you know, using this one, which may not work, I will just create a section that is actually going to work from within the libraries. I'm just going to add this one. And let's just say it was this one from the get-go, okay? So I have this, and I just set up everything in here. I went to the interactions. I went to style, Shopify content. If you want to add a source, uh, that is going to change. So if it's a product, we can just go to Shopify, source, uh, whatever it may be that, you know, products that you have within your store. And then afterwards, you can just go ahead and go to layers. 
and uh, give it a different name. So if we just just uh, go ahead and change the name to something uh, much easier to find, easy to find. There you go. Uh, we just name it that. We just exit out of here. And now we're ready to publish this pretty much. So to do so, we just click on publish again. And now it should be there and we should find it in the Shopify store. Okay, so we just go to customize to our store. Now, again, like I said, this, let's just say this is your Figma design. This is not going to work. Uh, like I said, without the auto um, thing here with Figma, it's not necessarily going to be uh, considered a section, basically. So it's not going to really work. So I'm just going to be using this one. So now I have just published, as you can see. So let's say it's completely your design. Uh, we just go to store. We go to any page that you want to add it to. And basically to add your Figma designs after you, you know, you're finished up with this. Uh, you go to add section and you just look up for the name that you have just uh, named it. So easy to find. And you should find it uh, right here. It should be right there. You can just add it and it should be pretty much working. Now from here, you'll be able to also change everything that you have uh, seen and worked with in here. So for example, if you uh, had the entire Shopify with a certain uh, product, you can actually keep the same design and everything, but then from here, uh, duplicate it and type in the name of the, or link it to a different product and it's going to automatically change everything in here that is related to the product, even the images, to the product that you have selected now. With that being said, this is pretty much how to uh, convert or move your designs from Figma to your Shopify store. But like I say, make sure you actually use auto layout once you are actually uh, designing your site or design, sorry, to actually make it work. With that being said, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.